Alrighty. Get about two minutes of a nice little warm up in. All right. Let's start with just some butt kicks. We'll warm up those quads first. Bring that heel straight up. Start to keep that core nice and engaged. Keep the feet flexed. Ten more seconds of these, and then we're gonna bring them up to a high knee. And bring that in the front. Leg lifts. Get those knees up as high as you can get them while keeping your back as flat as you can. Try not to hinge forward. Try to keep it nice and flat. Nice and controlled. And take a break here. Take those legs to a nice hip width position. Hands up by the head. I want you to pull those glute muscles in, pull your core in, and we're just gonna stick those hips back, keeping the legs nice soft bend for our good mornings. Hinging at the hips, nice flat back. I just wanna stretch out those legs. Hinging here. Three more. Sitting those hips back and relax. We're gonna do just 10 body weight squats. Make sure to sit those hips back and press it up. Make sure those knees are tracking behind the ankles and you can press the knees out at the bottom. You can do a half squat, get a little bit deeper with it as you keep going. About five more. For those of you who just recently jumped on, if you have a chair close by, that is sturdy, that you can put your back on, feel free to grab that and incorporate that in. Go ahead and take the break, shake out those legs. If you don't have a chair like this one, that's okay, you can do everything on the ground just as well. All right, we're just gonna do a little bit of jumping jacks, or just the legs. You can just hop those legs in and out. We just wanna get the blood pumping a little bit. Nice soft landing. Low impact version, step it out. Three, two, one, and bring it back together. Take that left leg, go ahead and give it some swings. Swing it to the back and the front. Warm up that hip. Again, keeping that torso upright and straight. And switch it to that right leg. Really just letting gravity do the work here. All right. And bring it back down. Shake it out. I want you to bring it down. Hinge it all the way down. Locked out into that plank position. Hold it here and then walk it back up. Three of these, roll it up. Take the time to feel that stretch behind the hamstrings. Walk it back in, up to standing. And repeat, last one. All right, one more. We're gonna take that, if you have something close by to hold onto, we're just gonna take that left leg, bring it to the back, and stretch out the hamstring. So if you wanna hold onto something, you just wanna bring it back and back down. Keeping that leg a little bit bent, stretching out that hamstring, hinging nice flat back. One more, and then switch to that left foot. Place it down, right leg behind, and hinge it over, stopping when you feel that stretch in that hamstring. Keeping that core nice and tight. 
three more. All right. Bring it all the way down. Our first round is going to be what we call plastic legs. So you're going to be on your starting on your hands and knees. I want those knees right underneath your hips, hands under the shoulders. I want you to tuck your toes under. And then from this position, all you're gonna do is just straighten those legs to here. And then they're just bending right back down to the ground. So the only thing that's moving is our legs bending and straightening. So it's gonna work a little bit of the back of our hamstrings. And it's gonna help keep us nice and warm for these next rounds. We have 30 seconds. Here we go, you guys. Bring up the hands and knees and drive those hips up, straight legs, and down. You'll start to feel this one pretty quickly in your quads and your hamstrings. A little bit of shoulder workout here too. I know I'm already feeling it. <laughs> Straighten, bend it down. Three, two, one. All right, bring it up to standing. We have some sidewalks. So you're gonna take a couple steps. You're gonna sit down into that nice low squat position. You can also do a half squat here. If you have sensitive knees, just we want that nice little bend in the knees. Sitting those hips back, knees are behind the toes. Sit it down. We're gonna walk side together, side together. Walk it back. We're just going side to side. Keep it nice and low. This is also a really great one to do with bands around the knees. Keep the hands on the hips or you can press. Oh, why am I not in focus? Hi. <laughs> Got five more seconds. Keep it low. and break. All right. Next one is a lunge. Reverse lunges, you guys. So bringing the feet together. You're gonna step that left foot back, lunge to a back kick. Just make sure we have time. So the front foot in front, we're gonna bring it down to that reverse lunge. We don't want that back leg completely straight or stretched out anything like that. Try to focus on driving that back knee straight down and keeping that front knee in that nice right angle. And then bring it forward. And you're just gonna lift that leg off the ground, squeezing the glutes, and then bring it together, switch legs to kick together, okay? Nice big breath in, right foot in front, sit it back, left foot down, kick together, reverse directions. A little bit of a balance test here too. Feel free to hold on to something close by. Kick. Keep the weight in that heel. Up, together. One more. And break. Nice big breath in. We're gonna repeat from the top. Onto those hands and knees. Tuck those toes under. Nice flat back. And bring it up, straighten the legs. And bend. Straighten. You can take it nice and slow, or you can go a little bit quicker. Either way, you'll feel the burn. This is also this is more of a whole body. We've got our core here too, and our arms. Last one, bring it down. Breathe. All right, sidewalk. 
on yourself a little bit this time. Try to bring it a little bit lower. All right, sit down, squat walk to the side. Feel free to take as many steps to the side as you have room. You can see it from the side, we're here, together, together. Sit it back. Remember to watch those knees, make sure they're not going past the toes. Make it a lot harder, get a little bit lower. If you have sensitive knees, go ahead and stay up nice with a nice light bend in the knees. And break. All right, lunge kicks, right leg behind. We're gonna start with our left leg in front this time. Five more seconds to breathe. And drive it down. Lift to kick, place it in replace. Down, kick. Watch that front knee. Back to the lift. Nice strong core. Last one. Hand break. All right. I'm going to repeat through one more time. I'm going to turn on my fan. back down to our hands and knees. All right, here we go. Hands down. Three, two, one. Touch the toes, lift, press. Really focus on only the legs here. We wanna keep our core nice and pulled in and a nice flat back. And break. <sighs> Take a second. All right. Bring it up. Side walk. Bring it down. Side to side. Keep that chest nice and open. Nice flat back. Try to keep the weight in those heels nice and light on the toes. The more you keep your weight on your heels, the more it will target your glutes and your hamstrings instead of your quads in the front of your knees. And break. All right, last set of our lunges. Nice big breath in. All right, right leg in front, left leg back, drive it down. Lift that left leg and replace. Squeeze that glute at the top. Eight seconds left. And break. All right, we have one last little finisher for the set. Nice big breath. What is going on with my camera? Not wanting to focus on me today. All right, 
we're gonna do some sumo squat pulses for the last 40 seconds. So I want you to bring those legs out nice and wide. I want you to point those toes out to the sides. When you squat it down, I want you to track those knees going out. I want you to focus on pressing them back. Try not to let them cave inward. Press them out. There we go. Three, two, one. Bring it down as low as you can comfortably go. I want you to bring those shoulders. Try to stack them over the hips as if you were up against a wall. Pulsing it here. Keeping legs bent. If this is a little bit too much for you or your knees, go ahead and bring it straight back up and bring it into a normal sumo squat. Challenge yourself, pulse it. You can add a double pulse. If you're here, you can also place the hands right here and you can hang out here. If you're starting to shake, starting to feel it. Five seconds, three, two, one. Nice big breath in. Walk those feet, shake it out. All right, grab a sip of water need it and then we're gonna make our way down to our mat and we have some elevated glute bridges and some hip thrusts so if you have your chair that you'd like to use go ahead and grab that if you don't have one that is also okay all right Man, I'm winded today guys So our very first one that we are gonna do, actually I can move this a little bit, make sure you have some room. It's going to be a straight leg donkey kick. So we're gonna be back on our hands and knees. Nice flat back. And I want you to extend that right leg out straight. And I want you to focus on tightening that whole leg. I want you to point that foot as nice and pointed as you can get it. Focus on squeezing that calf muscle, the quad, the hamstring, the glute, and then the core. And we're going to lift it up. And when you get to the top of where your leg goes, we don't want any of this hyperextension. Try to keep it right to where it stops. And where it stops is where you squeeze and should feel it right underneath that cheek. All right, we're going to go for 30 seconds. Bring that right leg out straight and down and up. You can bring it right underneath and the knee and extend it out. Under and straighten. Almost as if somebody was pulling you from that foot. Take it nice and slow. Five seconds. And break. You can rock it back to a child's pose. And a key tip here when you guys are doing these, try to make sure that when you're here, and you have your one leg, try not to lean into this leg. We wanna make sure you're staying on top of that working leg. The further you lean into it, the more you're gonna feel it in the non-working leg. All right, left leg. Readjust, get those hands right into the shoulder, pull that core in, extend that left leg out, engage those muscles and bring it under and extend. Squeeze at the top. Press those shoulders away from the hands. And break. All right. All right, if you have your chair, you're going to be doing hip thrust. If you don't have a chair, you're going to be doing them on your hands in this elevated position. So if you don't have a chair, this is gonna be your, your starting position. You wanna get those hips as much up there as you can. And you're, all you're gonna be doing is just hinging, bringing that butt right down and driving it right up. You wanna stay on the heels so you can even lift the toes up. And essentially we're just here. 
And if you are using a chair, I want you to place the chair right on that middle line of your back, right underneath those scapulas. So you're gonna be on your chair, just like this, right in the middle, upper back. Same thing on our heels. Now what we're gonna do is just drive those hips up so we're flat and bring it right back down. We don't want our back to round underneath it. We wanna keep it one piece. So bringing it forward, head looks forward. Bringing it up, head stays looking forward. We wanna keep that chin tucked. It's gonna activate more of our glutes. So all we're doing is just hinging our back right over that chair. So if you're struggling with the chair, feel free to do it without the chair. This is just preference. All right, I'm gonna do the first round with no chair. Those of you who don't have one, and then I will do the second round with the chair. All right, we have eight more seconds to breathe. Place those hands down. All right, bring those heels a little bit further away from you. Inhale, bring those hips up, squeeze, and right back down. Try to keep the back as flat as possible. And down. These probably feel funny and look funny, but they are one of the best exercises that you can do for those glute muscles and your hamstrings. Bring it back down. Keep that head looking forward. And break, bring it down. All right, we're gonna place our feet on that chair. If you don't have your chair, feet go on the ground. And you're gonna do your bridge, either a normal bridge here or an elevated bridge. If you have anything that you wanna pop your feet up on, that's fine. So adjust your position so that you have a nice right angle with those knees. Knees should be right over the hips. And you want just your heels on that chair. Try to bring your feet and your knees as close together as possible. Take a nice big breath in and place the hands down by the side. Pull that belly button down into the ground and we're going to squeeze those glutes together. Lift up into the air. Hold for three seconds and then bring it right back down. And then re-engage and lift. <laughs> Keeping that core nice and tight. And break. All right, we're going to go back to our first round, which is our donkey kicks. So flip it over. Hands and knees, get those knees right underneath those hips. You should have a little bit of space between them. Hands underneath, right leg first, and extend it out, straight and under. Squeeze. If you wanna make this a little bit harder, you can bring that leg out onto a diagonal and bring it a little bit more to the side. And you'll feel it in that side hip. Try to stay upright on that left leg. Make sure you're not leaning too far to the left. And rest. All right, 10 seconds. You're gonna do that other leg. Hands down and bring it under and extend it out. Almost there. Squeeze, keep that core pulled in. And break. All right. 
get into that hip the rest position. I'm gonna do it on my chair this time. Place the center of your back on there. All right, bring it down and press those hips up and down. Lift, pressing through those heels. If you feel this more in your quads, I want you to walk your heels out a little bit further until you start to feel it more in those hamstrings. Try to keep your back as straight as possible, moving it in one motion. Keeping the eyes facing forward, chin tucks at the top. And really squeeze at the top. We're gonna hold it for three, two, one, bring it down. And we have our elevated glute bridge. Feel free to change up the type of glute bridge. If you'd like to do a frog bridge, which is when we have our feet together and we are keeping our knees apart, we're lifting up to here. It's gonna target more of those inner thighs, a little bit more of the top of our glute muscles, our glute medius and minimus. So, got some options here. We're gonna pull that core in. Squeeze and lift and hold it and then bring it right back down. Make this a little bit more challenging. You can bring the arms straight up and give yourself a little bit less stability. And if you're still working on your glute bridges, you can keep the feet flat on the floor. Focus on keeping those glutes squeezed and the core tight. and break all right we have our last time through with our donkey kicks we might go a few minutes over today so if you have to jump off that is absolutely fine we're gonna keep it going we're gonna bring that right leg under extend it out and under squeeze last round Three, two, one, and break. We're all get back to that child's pose. And get ready for that left side. Gonna go a little bit. Here we go. Prep yourself for that left side, hands underneath. Inhale, and bring that left leg out and under. Five seconds, three, two, one, and break. All right, flip it over. We have our hip thrust almost done here. All right, breathe, three, two, one, and Put those hands down, drive those hips up, hold the bridge position, and bring it down. Keep those heels down, toes up off the ground, drive it up, three, two, one, and break, last one is our glute bridges. Bring the feet up there. All right. Three, two, one, and pull that core in, lift those hips up off the ground, and bring it down. It's not about height and how high you can get those hips up there. We don't want to hyperextend that back. I just want to make sure that we're tucking and squeezing those hips under. 
pressing through our heels. Three, two, and one. And go ahead and lay it down on your back. Do a nice, quick little happy baby stretch. Grab the insides of those feet. Press those knees down on each side of you. Keeping that tailbone pressed down into the floor. And take it up and I will take a second. Feel free to take some time and stretch out anything else that you need. If you wanna take a nice butterfly position, reach it forward, stretch out those hips, lean it forward. I will not take up any more of you guys' time. Enjoy the rest of your Wednesday. And I'll see you guys next time. You are welcome.